Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in a recent video I made this nice sturdy workbench for my workshop which is attached via the studs at the back and this single 2x4 support leg here. So since that video I thought I really need to make use of all the space underneath this bench because I only have a small workshop and recently I've been finding quite a bit of scrap wood. So I decided to make this kind of floating shelf here which is also supported by the uh, studs at the back and the single 2x4 support leg. So in this video I'm going to show you how I made it. So here is the workbench that I recently made for my small workshop and I want to maximise the space underneath it by creating a storage shelf. If you'd like to see the uh, original video to how I built the workbench I'll leave a link in the description box below to that video. So I started off by taking some measurements and for the shelf I'm going to be using this veneered chipboard which I found thrown out side some flats near some bins and I think it is a cupboard door. So to start off with I need to cut this down to size. The depth of it is just happens to be perfect for the shelf but the width it's too long so I'm going to cut it down now. Here I'm just using the square to make a nice obvious mark and then using a straight edge and some clamps I can make the cut with my mini circular saw. Now I need to make a couple of battens. This is just an off cut of pine. It's about three centimeters by three centimeters in diameter. And I'm making the cuts on the mitre saw. So now I'm marking up where I want the shelf to go and that is gonna be roughly halfway between the floor and the underside of the workbench. Once I got one screw in batten, I could then use the spirit level to level it up. And I'm going to use one screw in each stud here. That should be plenty strong enough. I've been finding a lot of scrap materials recently. So uh, it's ideal for doing projects such as this. So to make the frame for the shelf, I've got these bed slats that I also found thrown out. Bed slats are really useful for projects like this one. And now I'm just ripping down the, uh, the framework on the table saw. I've gone for 2.6 centimeters by 2.6 centimeters for the frame sizes. And I think that will give it plenty of strength. So now I'm just offering up one piece and making a mark. And I'm going to add the framework directly to the top. I find it, it just works easier this way. Um, I can just make sure that everything's nice and square and lined up rather than adding the top later on. So now I need two end pieces and two support pieces. Once I'd cut one, I could use that as a template to cut the rest. And to attach them, I'm going to use screws that go almost all the way through, but not quite. And that should give me a maximum um, strength on the fixing. Making sure to pilot hole um, because this is chipboard so I don't want anything to tear through. Now I could just offer up these sides and make the cuts. Thank you. 
So now I've just took an off cut, which will help me to uh, make sure that these are equally spaced, these two braces. So that was the main framework complete. I made sure that all the screws were sunk just below the surface of the wood. Now I just needed to install the shelf into its final position and you can see those buttons just make everything easier when coming to install. To attach the shelf I drove pilot holes directly through the buttons into the shelf and added some screws. And for this corner where the leg is, I'm going to be using a metal bracket and that will give it the appearance that it's floating and it also maximizes space underneath. Just using a couple of spirit levels, I can make sure everything is nice and level and then using an awl, I can make some marks and screw in a couple of screws. Now I wanted to add uh, some trim to hide the chipboard edge. So um, I took some measurements and I'm going to be using this piece of, I think it's rubber wood. This was a support brace for my bed, but um, it bent. So I can't really think of anything else to use it for. So now I'm cutting a slither off this and the thickness of this wood happens to be exactly the same as the depth of the shelf. So I've cut off about six millimeter or so um, here to make a nice strip I could then just um, mark it up and get the two pieces cut for the trim I want to add plenty of glue to make a nice secure connection and this trim should also add a little bit of structural support to the shelf as well I offered it up and it was a nice snug fit to attach it I'm going to be using these one inch screws I've got loads of them and also I don't have any appropriate nails to uh, to do this job so the screws should work just fine Again, I added plenty of glue to the front trim as well. Then I gave the trim a sanding down just to remove any rough edges. And decided to add a coat of teak oil to pop the grain and to offer a little bit of added protection.
Then about 20 minutes later, I buffed off the excess oil with a cloth. And that was the shelf complete. Okay, so that is the shelf all finished. And um, I think it's gonna be really useful. I can get plenty of stuff underneath here. And in the future, I also plan to make some kind of storage box to go under here with handles on and, and casters that I can wheel out. But um, for now, I'm gonna put some power tools and things like that just underneath here. Um, I think it worked out pretty well in the end considering it is just made of um, scrap materials that I've found. I like this bit of trim on here. It looks quite good, quite fitting with the rest. And support wise, I was a bit worried that it might sag across the middle here, but it feels really, really strong and I'm not going to be putting tons of weight on here anyway. So I think that should be a good way to utilize this space. So if you did find this video useful, please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more DIY related videos. I do plan on doing a lot more workshop related DIY in the near future. So as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.